<laughs> What's the unboxing? What it be? I don't know. Just shut up and see. Hey friends, it's been a while, but I'm back with another unboxing. Today it's a twofer. I got uh, the listener from SST Publications that I bought via Camelot Books. And then I have my very first Thunderstorm Books production. So I'm very excited to see what that's all about. So I'll start it off with the listener from uh, SST. Now, I have uh, Cemetery Dance's version of the listener on order. And so when they get around to doing that one, I'll have that one to share with you, the lettered edition. And I also have the advanced reader's copy of the listener. And it was a great book. So I'm very happy um, to have had that book. And this is a great book to have multiples of because it's such a great story. And um, so let's get at it. So of course, as you know, Camelot, well, as you might not know, I don't know what you know. I'm not a mind reader. Um, they gift wrap all their books. There's a hell of a glare, but they, they gift wrap them all. Put the shipping thing right on the front. Goes over there in the armoire of Armageddon. And I will open this gift to myself that I bought like a year ago. Oh, look at this beautiful thing. Look at this beautiful thing. Look at this thing. They also put um, Brodart Brodar covers on it so to keep the dust jacket nice and fresh. But look at that. That is a nice... That is Vince and Sammy did some artwork for this one. Um, and, wow. Let's just get this opened up. The listener, very simple. Again, a great book. It's still available from SST, SST Publications UK, dot UK, whatever. Um, definitely check it out. So this is signed by McCammon. Oh, look at that. Wow. Look at that. It's gorgeous. Look at that. This artwork. Wow. That, that's, a, that's beautiful. I got number 59. And and the the picture here, once you read the story, you'll you'll come to appreciate what that picture represents. Great, man. Oh, this is you know, look at that. Look at that. I'm probably not gonna read this edition because I've already read it. I'm so happy to have it though. Finally, it's been a while. Check out SST. They do great stuff. Um wow, look at that. Awesome! Awesome! Woohoo! We're already winning. <laughs> we did one book, one box. We're already winning. This is winning. So now I'm going to do um, my Thunderstorm book. Let me say, I've been uh, keeping uh, a Thunderstorm at arm's reach because some of their stuff seems to be on the <sighs> hardcore side, the extreme horror side. Um, I guess you could dismiss some of it as torture porn. And that's the harshest criticism that's come, at, uh, come, the, come the way of some of these books. Um, so I've been a little wary, but people are telling me all over the place that they do great work, they do great, um, great production values. And, um, and so when they announced this book, um, I immediately went to Amazon, looked up the reviews of the book, because it already exists um, in a, a trade um, um, trade a market edition. Um, so I looked it up, got great reviews. Everybody seems to really like this book. I read the synopsis. It doesn't sound like it's off the wall, gruesome or whatever. Um, so I thought I'd check it out. And also the cover looked pretty badass. So this came in the mail today. Again, my first experience with Thunderstorm. And it's a red shipping label. And it's red. Hardcore stuff in here. So... Um, of course, this won't be a book review, so I'm not going to be able to, to attest to how hardcore the horror is until after I read it, but I thought I'd give it a shot. Now, Thunderstorm does a lot. When, when they announce the book, it's already printed, and it's ready to ship, so it's a, it's a unique model in, in all these other um, 
small presses I buy from and that they're all ready to go. And they only, basically I think the print runs are tiny. It's like they're always only 52 editions. So it's always like a lettered edition print run. So they're always ready to go. They're always super limited. This book is sold out. So I'm, I'm getting experience with thunderstorm packing and it seems to be a pretty substantial packaging job here. Look at that, there you go. In the, in the plastic bubble wrap as well, here we go. Multiple layers of bubble wrap. So this is an author I've never heard of. Apparently this is his debut uh, book, his first book. It's called What Do Monsters Fear? And I'll show you this uh, the cover artwork in a second. Very great packing job. Look at this artwork. It's pretty brutal. That's pretty awesome. I really dig it. What do monsters fear? Um, and the author, it's kind of sad. Matt Hayward, sorry, Matt Hayward. Oh, look at that. End papers. Look at that. That is cool. Creepy. Creepy Matt Hayward. So, um, this is number 17. Signed with an introduction by Edward Lee. I read one Edward Lee story. It was uh, The Little Books by Borderlands. It's called The Little Dollhouse. A little magenta book about a dollhouse. Pretty cool. Uh, he, he gets kind of extreme as well, but that, that book wasn't so extreme. So I don't see any other artwork in the book to show you. Um, but I think I'm going to start this book today. I'm going to start reading it. Thunderstorm Books, there's their logo, um, my very first one, and I am very curious, um, is this going to keep me up at night with, with you know, am I going to have to have a nightlight on because I'm a fragile man? Oh, that, I do that anyway, so the book has nothing to do with it. Anyway, um, those are my, uh, it's my double header, The Listener and What Do Monsters Fear, Thunderstorm, SST, and then of course a shout out to Camelot Books who uh, does such great work packaging and shipping these incredible books. And I bought um, uh, The Listener through Camelot because it's a UK uh, company and I was a little concerned about the shipping costs would be. So anyway, check them out. Um, happy to be back doing a video. I'm happy to have some more books to share with you. I think up next will be um, the June Nocturnal Readers Box. And uh, excited to see that. And until then, uh, you can watch some um, Cardi B videos. Um, you, you could uh, maybe check out some Post Malone. I think that's what the kids are watching these days, a Post Malone. He got always tired, tattooed under his eyes. And I'm like, Post! Wait till you're my age and you won't need to put it on your face for people to know you're always tired. They'll just look at you. And then they'll look away. Anyway, till next time, I'll see you later.